ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட் வெல்கம் டு அ நியூ வீடியோ ஆஃப் லெட்ஸ் வாட்டர் கலர் வித் வனிதர்ஸ் இன் திஸ் சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் வீடியோஸ் ஐ வில் டேக் யூ த்ரூ மை வே ஆஃப் டூயிங் வாட்டர் கலர்ஸ் மை ஆப்ஜெக்டிவ் இஸ் தட் ஜாயிண்ட்லி வி மேக் த வாட்டர் கலர் பெயிண்டிங் எ ஃபன் ஃபில்ட் அண்ட் வெரி டைனாமிக் ஆக்டிவிட்டி ஹோப் வி வில் என்ஜாய் டுடே வி வில் ட்ரை டு பெயிண்ட் திஸ் லைக் சீன் வி வில் ட்ரை டு காப்பி த மேஜர் எலிமெண்ட்ஸ் லைக் திஸ் மெயின் ட்ரீ அண்ட் த ரிஃப்ளெக்ஷன் அண்ட் ஒன் ஆர் டூ போட்ஸ் ஹியவ் and some distant trees and uh, some nearby trees and if possible we'll include these steps also so we are not going to paint the, the subject exactly like this we'll try to simplify it right so let us see uh, how we can make a thumbnail sketch of this we'll make a quick thumbnail sketch of this so if you look at the reference uh, a majority of the portion is covered by water and a very little bit of sky so we'll try to do it in the same way around this place we will we'll keep it at the water and a little bit of uh, some distant foliages that is just uh, it will we'll make it little light uh, around this area we'll have the major trees we we'll, See, this is just a thumbnail so we will we'll try to just define the volu- volumes okay and uh, around this portion we'll try to make the reflections we have the tree here we will have the reflection here and somewhere here we'll have those steps we'll have the steps and uh, maybe here we'll have the two boats we are not drawing it exactly the way it is and uh, this reflection we will make try to make it and uh, maybe we will make one more one more boat so we'll have one more boat here we don't make all the three boats we'll just make two boats okay i will try to quickly indicate these structures we'll have just uh, two two boats here we have distant uh, water and there is some some kind of a reflection here okay and uh, here also we'll have some dark tones for the for the reflections and uh, this area we have couple of trees so we'll make some some trees here Well, this this is how uh, uh, our thumbnail will be 
so we will then probably add some additional interest depending upon how it comes maybe we will add some more some wooden anchoring pole here maybe we will have some reflection for this I don't know we, we might keep something more see we, we need to we need something to indicate that these are waters so some additional uh, imaginary steps we are adding so if required we'll see if something else sh should be added now we have a fair idea of uh, how our uh, uh, painting is going to look like so from this idea we'll develop it into a watercolor book this is the thumbnail so we'll copy the important uh, important line i mean drawings so we'll just draw this uh, horizon line kind of thing then we'll in just indicate this tree and the reflection probably we'll indicate these two boats we'll not do any shading at all because that we will do it with watercolor so i'm indicating this horizon line so majority of the portion will be water and little bit of sky and within this sky area you will also have uh, some amount of uh, distant trees or foliages etc okay this area will be covered by the tree this area will again be covered by some tree and uh, this will be full of water okay this area is full of water now around around this area we have the right the right hand side trees some some kind of a structure here and uh, some foliages this complete thing will be the foliages and here uh, you, we will have the the reflections the reflections will be covered here and uh, now around this area we will have the I'm just marking the steps here I'm drawing it a little uh, lightly but not very lightly I mean somewhere I mean I'm just uh, giving sufficient darkness so that uh, even after the wash I should be able to see the uh, the, the drawings but not with a lot of pressure uh, because I'm we should not damage the paper so we should we should not apply too much of uh, pressure while making pencil marks i'm just making two boats not not uh, in the reference we can find three boats but uh, we will be making only two boats here we will i'll make some more foliages okay i'm just uh, making a placeholder for this I'm giving some marks so that i should not uh, forget this 
so i think these are sufficient enough for now for the colors i'll be using cobalt blue uh, ultramarine blue cerulean blue olive green sap green violet burnt sienna and orange indian yellow and campos so i may not use all of this i might as well pick up some other colors also i'll tell in that case right we'll go for the washes the reference is not very warm but i'll be using little uh, warmer color so i'll be using little bit of uh, rose sienna okay very very pale wash of rose sienna i see it is very pale very pale wash of uh, rose sienna and i'll apply it towards the horizon okay i'm using a, a mop brush here because i'm using a big mop brush uh, uh, so that it covers uh, much larger area on top of this at the i'm using a cerulean blue wash I'm making it little warmer today now for this painting on the leftover uh, rose sienna I mixed a little bit of uh, cobalt blue with again very pale just uh, defining the water See, I'm making it darker and darker as I go down I'm just uh, roughly leaving the space for the boat okay and uh, then continue as i go down i i might i'm using little bit more of uh, blue maybe a touch of uh, violet a touch of violet okay and uh, i'm using little bit of uh, clean color today i'm just uh, making some strokes here so that uh, it will look like some kind of uh, I mean the color variation when we get into the once it gets dry you will find that there is some some depth and some color variation see these are not natural colors i am deliberately using little darker colors uh, just to make it a little bit more colorful okay you don't have to really follow the exact color that is in in the subject you can always change it now here it is little in the reference if you see it is little brownish and orangish so i'm using little the same color little little bit of burnt sienna and a touch of orange i'm mixing touch of orange and uh, maybe a touch of uh, yellow also this is indian yellow see i'm just uh, making a wash so that uh, later later i will define it better there is little bit of uh, Uh, I mean paint accumulation here. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a damp brush, a very damp brush. Damp means I just wet it in clean water and take out the water so that it, there is a wetness on the brush. And I'm just uh, take, I mean just uh, gently dragging on the water accumulation so that the paint, the brush will absorb excess water. We we'll have to wait until this becomes dry. Okay, we we'll have to wait for some time. Now uh, it is dry. To check if it is dry, just uh, slightly feel it, slightly touch it with the back of your hand, and I can feel if it is dry or wet. I am thinking of making some little bit of clouds here and uh, very and distant foliages. So I am just wetting it with a little bit of clean water. You might ask, then why did we wait for 
it to be drying if you are wetting it again so i'll be wetting it wetting it only around this top edge of this foliages and around this area where i want to make the clouds okay rest of the area i will not be touching and the bottom of this foliages which is the top edge of the water we need it to be very very clear line so uh, you cannot do that on a wet paper so from this point below we need it to be dry so wherever i am expecting to put some clouds i'm just making some clean water wash okay clean water and only at the top portion of the foliages i'm wetting for the clouds i'm just making some uh, little bit of uh, little bit of blue and a touch of uh, burnt sienna and a little bit of cobalt blue and a touch of violet it is very 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 little i mean it is just uh, i want some touch of this not too much now that's it not too much of blue okay the same color we will use for the top edge of the foliages little bit of uh, cobalt blue and a touch of uh, burnt sienna just to bring it little just to dull it little little bit that's it the bottom area you should be little careful because bottom area of this means it is the top area of the water so it should be in a straight line This area I am not uh, worrying too much because this area will be covered by the, the the trees, the main trees. So this area you should be a little bit more careful that it is in a straight line. I'm trying to be a little straight here. <laughs> Don't have to be very precise, very precisely straight line, but reasonably. just uh, to give some interest and sprinkling some water don't now if you look at the reference see there are some kind some reflections here some white patches again some reflection so that is because of the particular way the light is hitting here so we'll we'll try to just indicate that kind of uh, a shadow So we'll just make some kind of uh, it is almost a dry brush stroke so same thing same tone i'm just uh, we are just trying to make some dry brush stroke that's it if you try to overdo it you might spoil it and now i am softening the bottom of it little bit of softening that's it don't try to overdo it just some some stroke so that it might indicate some ripples some darker strokes just okay. now i think we we'll have to make this foliages here now for this foliages i'm using brown 
a little bit uh, brown and green or maybe I'll use some uh, this is olive green it's already a little bit of uh, brownish green and uh, I'm adding a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue to this just to make it a little bit more bluish yeah. if you look at the uh, if you look at uh, the reference that particular tree is little bit more bluish just uh, with the belly of the brush I am indicating it I am making some uh, quick movements so that some uh, foliage sort of thing is automatically formed when it comes to here I'm making it a little bit more darker. Adding a little bit more blue so that we are getting some volume here. See, you don't have to be precise when we make these things. You have to be suggestive. Suggest the volumes. Suggest a lot of uh, branches going here and there just suggesting the volume that's it making it a little bit more bluish when it reaches down The reference there is some kind of a some little bit of some structure here which is not very clear little wave but there is some stone or some wall kind of a thing I'm just suggesting it that's it now we need the reflection here right so the reflection if you really look at the reference it is much more greenish than the actual foliage on the top so I'm making it a little bit more uh, sap green uh, kind of tone I'm trying to trying to make some kind of a mirror image sort of thing I'm just uh, trying to define the edges here then we'll try to fill it again going very suggestive some sprinkle of water just to break some tones now uh, we'll define some details for the boat then once we do that we'll go for this particular foliage right so I'm going for a uh, smaller brush now because uh, we need to have a little bit of precision here I'm taking very pale wash of uh, cerulean blue it is maybe it is mixed with some other blues already that was in the palette 
but it is very pale right so if you if you really look at uh, we are looking for this particular if you look at the reference the inside of this board okay for the outside maybe we'll paint we'll do it later i'm leaving some white uh, space so that the white the left out white can be i mean looking like the the edge okay where the light is falling right so similarly the same thing we will do for this particular planks right so the same same color i am applying to the the internals of this we'll come back to this later i am just uh, defining it now okay. now we can go for the the sides the side is a little bit darkish color for the side i took a little bit of uh, vermilion red and the burnt sienna i mixed still it looks very reddish and if you look at the reference it is somewhat darker in tone so i am mixing quite a bit of a little bit of violet to this so that it is we are getting some darker tone okay this is for the the front side board I'm a little bit careful to leave a white edge for this. This is something like we are drawing with a brush. So when I when it reaches the bottom, I'm adding little bit more darker tone the darker because the the, the bottom side of the board is always I mean, it's a kind of convex in nature the sides so the bottom side will never get sufficient light so i'm using a little bit of blues i am adding directly so that it is very dark at the bottom and for the bottom of this particular boat i'm using a little bit darker cerulean blue itself right because that is more sort of a cerulean blue in the reference again i'm being a little precise to leave the white edge at the top and also to leave proper edge for the this particular board okay now i need some little bit of darker tone Now we will have to go for this foliages. We will have to work a little faster because I want to get down here while it is still a little bit of wet. I am moving to a smaller mop brush. Okay. Again, quite a bit of uh, what I, uh, the color I take is uh, olive green. I like olive green for this kind of thing because it is already little bit of brownish and uh, what I do is I will add little bit of uh, more ultramarine blue to make it little darker 
okay now we will have to just uh, define some polyages here I'm just uh, defining only the edges and then we'll fill it probably If you look at the reference, it is very dark volume, so I am kind of uh, going for a similar approach. So, very dark volume. Some indication for the branches and all. Now when it comes to the bottom side, maybe somewhere here, I will make it a little bit more darker. Whatever brownish mix we had earlier for the boat, I am using a little bit more blue to that and maybe a little bit more green and making it a little darker. Because at the bottom side, you will find there are quite a bit of dark tones for this. I am adding a little bit more orange tone for this. Orange and uh, brownish tone for the for the steps okay I'm using little bit of yellowish I mixed the Indian yellow and little bit of orange to the burnt sienna mix that we already had so making a little bit darker tone because uh, here I want it a little bit more darker because there is a lot of uh, darker da da darker things happening here See, we, we don't have to really worry about what these things are I'm just trying to mix these things I mean gradually merge these things here right I think this is enough for here now let us go for the reflections now let us get back to the reflection here so if you look at the reference it is very very greenish brownish mix so what I do is again going back to the a little bit of uh, olive green mixing little bit of olive green and a touch of uh, burnt sienna 
basically I just wanted to make it little brownish brownish uh, while keeping it still green We are kind of merging this whatever is the dark here to this the reflection, right? So I think this much is enough. If we do it anything more, it may be overworking. Just uh, some color is, uh, I mean, spreading here. So kind of uh, making some. Now we'll have to make some more uh, details for the boat. So I'm going again for a smaller brush. This is a little bit of uh, cerulean blue. I'm going with cerulean blue. Should be a little careful here. Because I, I want to leave the white edge carefully. And also I, I, I want to leave the planks. So we have made some marks for the planks here already with pencil. So some of the marks have gone so I'm, I'm trying to draw it now. I think that's enough for that. And maybe some pictures for the, the distant boat also like that. Make some stroke to look to bring the I mean the kind of ripples a little bit more ripples kind of things here. It's just uh, some slight darker tones, not too much. If you overdo it, it, it might spoil your spoil the look. I think that's it. Now we will make a little bit of 
dark blue strokes here some dark blue strokes maybe just to uh, get some light so that's it not too much this is not an essential, essential thing just to to bring out some uh, highlights that's it i think yeah pretty done we'll add some more interesting elements like we mentioned in the beginning okay some element here some kind of a reflection here we are pretty done here so we we could have added some characters but i think this by itself is okay i'll not be adding any characters right so uh, we'll call it as done with uh, i'll just put my signature and uh, we'll call it as done Uh, if you if you look at uh, we haven't been very precise to any of this but overall it worked well right so <coughs> you don't have to be really worried about uh, precise details you can can be little bit of suggestive and uh, you can still get uh, reasonably good uh, i mean effect of the same here so i think uh, we are pretty done now thanks for watching take out the tape see you could have done a uh, uh, little bit uh, more in mean, detail work we could have added uh, many more details we could have added couple of characters here and we could have given some more highlight the area we could have made little neater but you don't have to be always neat in your work i mean sometimes being suggestive gives a, a pretty good pretty decent effect so you can boldly practice i mean suggest your strokes and uh, we'll see in the next video thank you that's it for today hope you were with me throughout this video if you have any comments suggestions questions please do mention them in the comment section below if you like my video please click on the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel I will strive to produce more videos with your support and motivation by addressing all your comments and suggestions and uh, I will also try to respond to your questions suggestions as frequently as possible hope we'll meet you in the next video and uh, we'll continue with the fun of uh, painting watercolors thank you very much